These are random facts about Genshin Impact that might help you win your 50-50s. Let's get started. Did you know that some rocks can be killed in Genshin Impact? No, seriously, look. For some reason, this specific stone in Mondstadt is somehow alive and can take damage. I wouldn't hit it too much though, because for all we know, it might be another one of Zhongli's pets. All the Xiaomians can rise up. Literally, because Xiao isn't the shortest male character in Genshin Impact after all. As of recording this video, Mika is actually the shortest character on the current playable roster. So while those Xiao mains can finally say that Xiao is tall, er, than Mika. Ayaka is one of the Genshin Impact characters of all time. But did you know she was literally the only character you could pull for almost 240 days? This was later corrected to show until the end of version 2.6. I guess we all know who Hoyuverse's favorite character was, huh? Do you guys remember El Haytham's roommate? Because, uh, Hoyuverse doesn't. As of the time of recording this video, Kaveh has only been on one banner, which is back in version 3.6. El Haytham must have took the keys to his rerun banner because this poor architect really needs to show his face again. Do you know when Genshin Impact officially launched globally? If you guessed November 5th, you'd be wrong. It launched on September 28th, 2020, everyone's favorite year. Here's a smaller fun fact for you. The game launched on National Drink Beer Day. What are you going to do with this information? I don't know, but whatever you do, make sure you don't drink yourself to death like Diona's father Graf. Speaking of Diona, don't you think she's a bit, I don't know, young to be working at a bar? I think if there's anything to be learned from this video, Mondstadt needs some child labor laws. Like, come on, Gene, I know you're busy filling in for Varka, but this is pretty damn serious. Okay, since we're already here, I gotta get one more fact about Mondstadt off my chest. Did you know when Varka left for his grand expedition, he took 80% of the Knights of Avonius manpower with him? No wonder they had to make Clea knight. Did you know that Diluc was the Pyro Archon for a while? And no, I'm not kidding. Players utilized a glitch with everyone's favorite bard Venti to deal out absurd amounts of damage, effectively making him one of the best DPS characters in the entire game since his debut in 1.0. Unfortunately, this fun didn't last long and was patched out soon after it was discovered. Sometimes I wonder how Hoivos cooks up some of the amazing kits in Genshin Impact. Some of them are just so fun to play. So what the heck happened with Dea? She was one of the most anticipated characters of the Sumeru 3.x patches, and upon her release, players were beyond disappointed with her rubber ducky numbers. But that wasn't the end of the controversy, because for some reason, when Dea jumps, her burst gets cancelled! Like, why? What was the reason? Did Hoyverse have a freak cooking accident when making Dea? Okay, okay, enough about frustrating things. Let's, let's calm down a little bit. Let's talk about something cuter. On April 1st, 2023, Genshin Impact drifts some fishy looking characters, including Meow, 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 and my personal favorite, Meow. Did you know that Hoyverse took two years to release the first male Catalyst character in Genshin Impact? This character being our favorite One Punch detective, Heizo, releasing in patch 2.8, right before Sumeru's grand debut. Have you ever wondered which character in Genshin Impact has the longest time between rerun banners? Because the answer may not be what you think. If you thought Albedo, you'd be wrong. If you thought Eula, you'd also be wrong. The answer is actually Kaching, last rerunning all the way back in February 2021. I know she was available all the time on the standard banner, but trust me, I know there's people out there who would really appreciate her banner right about now. Imagine the most terrifying situation you can in Genshin Impact. Does it involve Chi-Chi? Maybe even a Chi-Chi banner? Well, I'm sorry to say, but even that would be preferable over this nightmarish character, Kave, and he became the destroyer of worlds at one point, literally destroying permanent landmarks in the world like Elemental Pillars and the Domain Tree. Co-op was not an option to any player at this time, unless you wanted to risk the very fabric of Tibet. Did you know that the video unveiling all the Harbingers was released on July 11th, 2022? I remember when this video was released, and to tell you the truth, I was screaming like a little kid on Christmas. I mean, how could I not at such a big reveal? 
Do you know which character in Genshin Impact has the best trailer theme? If you said Farzan, you were correct. No, this is a fact. And no, you can't dispute it. Don't type that hate comment down there. I see you. The newly released Fontaine characters has some very, very special idol animations compared to the others, as they actually affect the environment and status of the characters. Nuvolet applies the wet status to himself, and let's be honest, he does onto all of us too, and Navia will blow around the plants around her. And you know, I gotta give a special shout out to Chi Chi here for also having the same effect. I mean, who said Chi Chi wasn't good for something? I've always wondered why there's no Hydro Claymore in Genshin Impact. With the addition of Ryosli, we managed to fill in the Cryo Catalyst slot, and now we are just missing this weapon and element combo. When are you gonna let them out of the vault, Hoyoverse? I know they're in there! Have you ever felt like you're lucky in Genshin? Because some people are way, way luckier than others. <laughs> During the anniversary events, Hoyoverse will usually give 10% of players a welcome for free if they participate in that event. Some lucky players have won this twice and have two welcome items sitting in their inventory. I'm not gonna say I'm jealous, but I'm so very jealous. According to GameRant.com, Diluc would make the best husband in Genshin Impact. He's rich, he's tall, and he's, oh, uh, he's beautiful in his own way. Do you think that GameRant was correct in this ranking, or uh, do they need to reevaluate? Here's a really fun fact for you. Even though Dendru was introduced to the game just over a year ago, it still has the same amount of playable characters in the game as Geo. I think we can all agree when I say that Geo has to continue stepping up their game. Navia was a good start, but trust me, she will not be enough to save the whole element. One of the best features of Genshin Impact is seeing and meeting all the different characters from all the different nations. But one nation has been mysteriously MIA since the start of the game, this nation being Natlan. We haven't seen one NPC from the nation, and it's where we're heading next, so what could possibly be hiding in the nation of Pyro? Perfectly grilled meat? An endless war? We'll have to wait and see. Since we're still on the topic of NPCs, there's no way I can go without mentioning the best NPC of all time in Genshin, Libin. He will give you random crap for primal gems in the game and other useful materials. Plus, he also drops lore hints about the next nation. Not Lan, I'm looking at you, and I'm ready to hear about all your secrets! Did you know that Toma is actually not in Azuman? In fact, he's actually from Mondstadt. He wanted to bring his dad some dandelion wine in Inazuma, but he fell overboard his ship and still ended up on the shores of Inazuma with, uh, no more and, well, no one. Honestly, I gotta wonder, where is Toma's dad if he is still in Inazuma? We should really be looking into this mystery. Now it's time for the final fact, the truest of them all. How to win every 50-50. The secret behind the illegal knowledge is so, so simple. So listen, really, really closely. Are you listening? Okay. You can back it for a and then go kill a blubber beast. I hope this helps, and may you win all your 50-50s. Did you enjoy all the facts, or did I get something wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, remember to hit that subscribe button like you're pulling for your favorite character. That's all for me today, see you later!